It's Don here from the board. Thanks for coming along and checking out this video. Today, I'm going to be having a look at some patches. Uh, so the backstory on this was Jay Godinez from uh, our community. He does embroidered patches. He's done some really successful patches. The, the top rate right patches, he's done some um, Alps patches and things like that. I've already had a look and, and I've given away some of those patches previously in other videos. And he came out with this really cool concept for a patch, which was to have a MX switch that had an uncolored stem. And the concept behind that was that you could color that stem in to whatever color scheme that you wanted. And I thought that was really cool. And I kind of talked about it on a podcast video a really long, long time ago. Uh, so I do apologize how long it's taken for me to actually um, come out with this video. I did a bit of a trade deal with uh, with Juan and I sent him a lapel pin in exchange for some badges. So they came in the mail and they got wet because it was raining quite heavily that time they came in and the entire envelope was soaked but I didn't want to open it up and have bits of paper and other gunk and whatnot stuck on it and I just let it sit to dry out and I kind of forgot about it. And that's just really bad of me to do that. I have a lot of like letters and paperwork and stuff like that. So uh, the end result is I'm doing the video and review of it now, not when I should have ages, ages, ages ago. So please, I'm very sorry, Juan, for such a long delay. So let's head on down to the desktop and have a look. So here it is, here's the package. Um, from Jay Godinez 302 Embroidery, which is pretty cool. Uh, and like I said, it got wet, so the envelope's all crinkled and it's all dirty because of my letterbox being um, a unit block letterbox, which is pretty manky and dirt and dust, everything gets inside it. So let's have a look. Now you might notice that I've got a marker here on the side because I'm gonna play with that. Um, oh, there's actually a letter in here too. So I guess it's good that I waited until it was completely dry and then some. Oh, it's double? No. Okay, so let's just put that aside. You can kind of think, see uh, the water damage that's happened there. Ah, okay, so it's, it's actual instructions. That's pretty cool. That's pretty, pretty cool. Um, oh, and it's even used tape to, uh, to stick them on. So we've got place patch on garment, embroidery side up, cloth or towel over it, iron approximately high for 30 seconds, iron the underside. Yeah, okay, so that's just to heat up the material that you're putting it onto to make sure it pulls it all the way through. Uh, and then it says, oh, let's try and peel that off without ripping it too badly. Do not wash any garments in hot water or machine dry as this could cause the iron on glue to come undone. Okay, thank you for your Patreon support. Email, Reddit and Geek Hack. So that's really cool. I, I think that's awesome. Uh, that is actually got some iron on instructions. I don't know if this is like, it looks like it's laser, so I'm not sure where that running of that ink comes from, but, uh, oh, it's a signature. And his signature is dissolved away. <laughs> Water soluble ink. Okay, so we've got two, which is uh, pretty cool. We've got one which is a red switch. Uh, these these patches are massive. They're huge. We're talking, you know, a hundred mil plus on that axis, and uh, about ninety odd mil on that axis. So it's a good size patch, practically the palm of your hand. And the detail on this is is really lovely. Uh, you know, we've got some fantastic shading and that texture. We've got the layers of the actual swim and uh, of the, the stem. Although I would have preferred to see that that lining stay the same color as the actual stem because the whole stem is that one color. We know that uh, our stems aren't just colored on the top on the crucifix part uh, and not on the actual base but the rest of the housing is really fantastic and the fact that you've got a lighter color embroidering on the actual pins is really cool i just 
I love the detail in in that representation because it really has that three dimensional pop to it. Like you look at that and it it looks three D to you. Well, it looks looks three D to me. The backing's just got a. There's nothing to peel off there. It's just the glue adhesive. From what I can tell. Yep. And then here is here is the white one. Here is the white one that we can color it in. Now, we all know that I am a clicky fan. Uh, I was trying to find if my daughter actually had a pink marker, and she doesn't. Now, what's really, uh, well, I'm not going to say cool or interesting, but what's uh, what's important on this part is these, um, and this is not affiliated or sponsored, whatnot by Artline. Although Artline, if you find out about this, give me a call. <laughs> We picked these up at the Easter show for my daughter because they're water soluble markers, which a lot of kids' markers are because, you know, if they draw on stuff that they're not meant to be drawing on, you can wash them out. So, what I wanted to play with here was if I colored it in with a water soluble marker, and then if I was to actually, well, you, you would do this a different way. You would put on the patch first to a piece of clothing, and then you would color it in because you don't want to iron it while you've got color in it because that can actually potentially cook in the color, right? And and prevent it from washing out because you're changing the actual chemistry of it potentially. So you iron it on and then you go, you know what? I feel like being a blue switch today, blue switch. So let's, uh, let's try this with the blue marker and turn this into a, a, a navy switch. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over to the sink and you'll have to bear with me. Um, and I'm going to try and rinse it to see if the marker comes out. Because if the marker comes out, then that's pretty cool. So you can change your mind at a drop of a hat. Now, if you put this on a hat, that makes it even more cool because, you know, at any given point in time, you can give it a quick rinse, wash off the ink, change colors, and head out and rep another switch color. So that's, that's what I'm going to try now. So I've got a blue switch and a, a red switch. Uh, that's, you know, red red, so that's not going anywhere. Very Halo-esque colors, I think. Um, <laughs> so the blue is in there. It's, it's, you know, taken to it quite well. So I'll be right back and see what washing does to this. Gotta love kids. Um, okay, so my wife says that she's got some Crayola washable somewhere. And I've just given this a quick run under the tap. And it has actually washed out the most of it. So if I just hold it up and see if it'll bring a bit of focus, you can see that the big parts, it's all washed out. But on this right hand thin strip and on this left hand small one, uh, some of that blue is still holding in. You can kind of see it just there on the corners there. Um, so I'm going to say that as far as a concept goes, if I probably spent a bit more time just giving it a soak and a bit of a, a light rub down, it probably would actually wash out. And as my wife just told me, soap would probably do the trick. Now this is still damp. <clears throat> so um, if I use this, this ultra clean washable uh, Crayola, and of course, once again, Crayola, you know how to find me. If you've seen this video, let me know. <laughs> let's, let's fill this in with some pink. Check it out. <clears throat> All right, so I've just gone from a blue switch to a pinky purpley switch. Do you like that? Yeah? You still got chocolate on your face <clears throat> from your profiterole. It's right there in the corner of your mouth. Look at you. Such a little cheeky <laughs> monkey. <clears throat> All right. Do you like that color? Yeah. Yeah? What color is it? Uh, pink. It's pink. 
You want to come up and color it? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> all right. Just color where the pink is. Yeah? Fill in all those white bits. Okay? Go on. You can do it. Like that. So, conceptually, I love it. Um, I actually think it works really, really well. And we've just been able to prove very quickly and easily that um, if you're going to use water-soluble inks, dyes, colorants, then you can definitely wash that out. And I think, you know, I don't have a, I don't normally wear a cap or anything of that nature, but uh, I think that would work really, really well. And if you got a whole bunch of them and you put it onto like a bag, a backpack, a case, or, or whatever it is, then change it to your mood, however you like. Change the patterns on it, as long as you've got the time to actually be able to go and put it under the sink with a bit of soap and wash out the color and whatnot. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, do we want to wash out that one and then you can color it a different color? Yeah? All right, so you just stay here, right? And Daddy's gonna go and wash this out and then we can see if you want to fill it with another color, okay? Ew. Don't color this one, okay? That one's not for coloring. Alrighty, so that actually washed out really well when I put a bit of uh, hand soap on it. We can still see that uh, the edge over on this side is still retaining a bit of the pink, but I think that's just, you know, me doing a very quick and easy wash, a little bit still holding on that top corner. I suspect it's probably because the, the fibers are actually pulling it into the black lining, and so a bit more uh, washing is required to get it out. It's not really turning gray, but I suspect over time, uh, you know, as it gets potentially dirty and grimy, if you're very careful with like fabric cleaning, you could probably scrub it and clean it up and make it nice and white. Now, what color do you want to make it? Uh, mm, purple. You want to make it purple? All right. There you go. Fill it in purple. So now we've gone into uh, the the box royal kind of switch color but you know what this is this is actually a lot of fun uh, so if you have kids and uh, you want to get them kind of a little bit deeper into the keyboard space and world and they want to customize something then this is a really cool way of actually doing that um, and especially if they're prone to changing their mind on something then hey why not right Lots of fun, like I said, onto their backpack, onto a pencil case, onto a hat. Um, yeah, very simple and easy to wash out. As long as you have the right markers, of course. If you want to make it more permanent, then obviously you use a Sharpie or something that's a bit more permanent. Look at that, it's purple now. Yeah. Alrighty, well Daddy's going to finish the video now, okay? You want to say bye-bye to people? You don't want to say bye-bye. You want to wave bye-bye? No? Alright, well daddy's going to have to kick you off his seat. Yeah. You can sit on his lap. <clears throat> Alright, so thank you very much Juan for actually sending this in. I, I really love the concept of it. It's great execution. Uh, maybe if you're going to have another revision and your pattern or machining allows you to, then my recommendation is to just have these four strip sections at the bottom of the stem also be that white colouring. And that way, it just gives a bit more uh, pop to the overall look and the feel and the authenticity in regards to the fact that the entire stem itself is the colour and not just the top section of that, um, that stem part. Awesome source. Alright, thank you very much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that bell button to get notifications of all of our new videos and my daughter has just discovered something really cool if you have a look at the back we've actually got the blue that sort of soaked through from earlier 
and uh, it actually hasn't fully washed up because it's against that backing. So, but the purple is actually soaked through. So I guess with the glue layer, it's preventing it from washing out. So you're really going to have to give it a good soak if you want to clean it all the way through. Now, I did not realize it, but it looks like this one's also been colored because the back of it's white and it's got the red, so it's not actually red threaded, uh, which I actually thought it was red thread. It possibly is. It could just be the layering of the, the threads on the, from the machine. But wouldn't that make it all... Shouldn't that all be white all the way through? Yeah, well, I don't know. It looks like it's coloured because you can see the edges, how it's sort of creeping in. In any case, um, I'm not going to try and wash that out. I don't mind it being red at all. But, uh, yeah, I think that works out really cool. All right, it's time to go. Thanks very much. And, of course, as always, until next time... Happy clacking.